The UNLF's goal is an independent Manipur. Chairman Sana Yaima told CNN IBN Special Investigation that his Manipur People's Army was now ready to take on the Indian state in the Imphal Valley itself. This 50-year-old woman from Sonamukhi village, 15 kilometers from Jhargram town, alleges she was raped by the joint forces on the 30th of June. At least six women from this village have undergone medical tests at the Jhargram hospital after they alleged rape by the paramilitary forces. We have a cause to fight for because for us it's a question of uh, life and death. And for India, it maintained their colonial hold on our people. During a joint forces raid in search of suspected Maoists. I was tending cattle. They dragged me away and forced me onto a charpai. They slapped me, held me down and then raped me. And brought her here and others followed. This is how they terrorize us. A Mahato from neighboring Birihandi village succumbed to injuries she allegedly sustained at the hands of the forces on the same day. We will always try to give a surprise uh, to the Indian forces. Even Pranav Mukherjee, the Indian Defense Minister, admitted in the parliament that it was not so easy to enter our base areas. They thought that uh, in a few days' time, they would reach our headquarters, but they could not. He indicated that the MPA was prepared for an urban guerrilla war. We have always avoided direct confrontation. Uh, that is uh, part of our strategy. We fight when we want. When we, we fight when we can. The Indian Army commenced operations to flush out the UNLF with a strength of 55,000 the army outnumbers the 2,000 strong MPA, but Sana Yaima claims that motivation gives them the edge. The MPA has sophisticated weapons bought from the international market, AK assault rifles, M16s, G3s, grenade launchers, mortars and weapons seized from the Indian army. And so heavy equipment like this 30mm anti-aircraft gun has been acquired to counter aerial or heliborne operations of the Indian army. Clearly, the UNLF is well equipped for an extended guerrilla war. Manipur is the hotbed for ethnic conflicts between different tribes that are fighting for their own space. People's Liberation Army and the United Liberation Front are the two main insurgent groups. In Assam, United Liberation Front of Assam, or Ulfa, is demanding a sovereign state for the athletes. While the National Democratic Front of Bodoland is keen to set up a separate autonomous region for ethnic Bodo people. In Nagaland, the National Socialist Council of Nagalim split into two factions, NFC and IM faction led by Isaac Muiva and NFCMK faction led by Khablan. Apart from these, insurgent groups are also operating in Tripura, Meghalaya and Mizoram.